Jay back with another patching tip on the Create Audio West Pass. Um, for this trick, I'm going to be doing some output to output patching. So first we're going to set up a couple things. We're going to put the oscillator like as low as it'll go. And turn hold on. So the trick is basically using the gate output as an input. So if we plug the LFO, you hear a slight change. And this is affecting the dynamic circuit. So if we run the sequencer, we'll clock it with the oscillator that's low. I put the sequence in already. Now watch what happens if we take the random voltage to the gate output. Pretty much CV control over the filter portion of the dynamics controller. So the glide affects the sequence and the random voltage. We don't have to use the random voltage, we can use um, like the fold out. as well.
testing the oscillator waveforms. Doesn't want to trigger on this one. I was finding that the saw seems to work the best for this. I guess one of the downsides of this trick is that if the sequencer isn't running or anything, like it'll still trigger the synth through the gate output. Maybe it's an advantage, maybe it's a disadvantage, I don't know. <laughs> Sequencer again. I don't know, is the sequencer not running? That should be. There it goes. I guess I deleted the sequence, so let's put in a new one. the fold out foot to the clock. And take the multi to the gate out. Let's see if we can get anything quicker. Fold them out. Take one more attempt at putting in a better sequence here. So try it out. Um, another thing you could do is, um, I don't know, just try it out. Thanks for watching. <laughs>